I don't know what else would be appropriate to put this in the video, so I'm going to put this here. Later on, there will be mentions of sexual assault, rape, and suicide. But it's not going to be mentioned yet. It's going to be a little bit later in the very end of the video. But for those who are sensitive, I will put a timestamp when appropriate so you can skip that part if it is too sensitive for you. In today's society, viewpoints clash like rams butting heads. Is this perspective wrong? Who is right? Are they nitpicking my point? Or is someone being overcritical of you? But at the root of all of these is the ethics that build the platform of where you stand. We can define being ethical what is good and bad and with more duty and obligation. Ethics is the most important social skill a person needs to have, and yet sometimes people just lack it. But thankfully, not all hope is lost. Because as of right now, we shall now begin ethics class. Google what email card I read me this, or as I just said, we should now begin ethics it is a manga based on and in around the ethics class taught by Takayanagi, a main character. Even considering the fact he has the main character attribute, the main character buff, Takayanagi sticks out compared to the rest of the cast like a straight man at a gay orgy. Our dad had taught us not to be ashamed of our dicks. The entire being and mannerisms are a bit weird. But not in a bad way, from how he constantly poses like a Jojo's character, and the most crucial part, how he processes and views the world that is shown from his use of language. If anyone were to try to have as simple of a conversation as possible with Takayanagi, he would always somehow end up in deep thought. You can ask him what his favorite food is, but he could go on a 5 minute tangent on the concept of favoritism before he finally tells you that his favorite food is just a simple burger. Would you who shut up, man? Listen, who when talking to other people, they often get confused by what Takanagi is trying to get at because of his thought process. But if he ends up speaking the same language as him, he's actually fairly straightforward. In the very first chapter, one of the students tried to seduce a teacher here. Very brazenly, my god. <laughs> When I first read this, I got scared and feared for the worst. I was prepared to drop this manga entirely. But when tempted, and the sound of a jail cell grew closer, he just simply started to talk about Oran, and what made them high class prostitutes at the time. Being knowledgeable about literature, the ability to play shogi, dancing and playing instruments, calligraphy, the list went on and on. And at the very end of his rant about Oran, he talked about to not fully offer sex unless both parties connect on a spiritual level, and not waving at the offer of money. For those still processing what just happened, the TLDR is that this was the nicest way I've ever heard of someone being called a slut. Yep. <laughs> I, I like this dude. I fucking love him. <laughs> Despite Taki and Nagi roasting the ever-loving shit out of his students, he does care about them. He would put his neck out for them, prioritize them, listen to them whenever needed. But even though his heart is in the right place, it does not mean he's going about things in the correct manner. Sometimes he gets caught saying some, let's just say sus things. Oh yeah, I, I should probably be talking about the story here. I may have spent a bit of time talking about Takenagi, but this is because he is the central piece that connects this world together. In every chapter, we are introduced to a new student who is taking the ethics class. As we learn more and more about this character, we also learn about some of the physical or figurative hardships that they are currently facing in life. And these aren't some short, half-assed chapters either. These are some chapters with over 40 pages sometimes. So it isn't far off to say that we do get the opportunity to learn about the character within their confined chapter. Well, sometimes they make appearances in other chapters as well to further flush them out. Because of this, the world building is very strong, since the students can end up being tied together one way or another. At the same time, we the reader learn about certain philosophical or ethical concepts and ideas. In other words, the author uses the students and their hardships to teach and convey these teachings as idiots may not understand or go out of our way to learn. In the end, Tekanagi ends up helping the students 
and life moves on. When teaching these concepts, the author directly quotes readings or certain philosophers. Sometimes the quotes used make total sense, others I have to reread a few times, though one or two quotes I didn't fully quite understand, or for some reason the mangaka decides to quote Michael Jackson, but I still end up enjoying them nonetheless. To add on, the setting and tone of the manga helps amplify Takenagi as a character and what it is trying to accomplish. However, I can also see if people took fault in this as well. Some might find it edgy, others could take it as preaching and drawing form, and even I admit the art looks a bit weird sometimes. So I personally don't feel the way for the first two points here. These can be taken as valid complaints and I wouldn't hold it against you if you do. But if I did have to make a complaint, it would be that I want more chapters, as this is currently being released bi-weekly, so you have to wait a long time for a new installment. However, I want to spend the last moments in this video to talk about what truly sold me on this manga. I don't read books, and even though I don't read a whole lot of manga outside purposes for this channel, this is instantly what pushed it to be one of my favorite reads I've ever experienced. As context, part of Takenagi's spiel when he introduces himself in his very first class, in the very first chapter of the manga, is that ethics is used when death approaches you, when you are all alone. When you have nothing to rely on, or when the end is in sight and you seek help from a higher power. Then, in the second chapter, while talking to someone else, out of the very corner of his eye, Takanagi spots a student at the edge of a building turning on the route of suicide. Rushing to her aid, it is found out that her boyfriend drugged and raped her. The student Takenagi was initially talking to responds how most of you watching this right now would think of responding if you were in her shoes. Don't do it! A permanent solution to a temporary problem. Suicide is not worth it! Value your life! But surprisingly, Takenagi lashes out at the student. But whatever said reason may be, if it is despairing enough for the victim, they might find a worthy exchange to trade the life for a means of escape. Do you truly have any idea what it takes to climb up those railings? And now I'll read the epilogue from the first volume. I started this manga because someone told me, I feel like Amase Sensei fits for drawing a manga on teachers. I actually didn't think much before setting the topic as ethics. I learned about ethics and drew the manga at the same time, with one thing always in my mind. I can never forget that in the late night of November 2014, my beloved auntie committed suicide. Auntie had been taking pills because of depression. She could not work, so she always stayed at home with grandma. But she looked happy and well-ordered, with a smile on her face. Everyone who stayed with her would enjoy her loveliness. The news was such a shock for me. She didn't leave a suicide note, so I didn't know the details, but grandma said that one week before auntie's suicide, some relatives said something insensitive to auntie that let her down. Some unthinking words made her feel, I need to die no matter what. It came to grandma's mind afterwards that she seemed to prepare a lot for the suicide in that week. Prepare necessary stuff. I hope that won't break. Create places to hang the rope, dig a hole on the beam with scissors. Secretly ask someone else to look after a relative in the hospital for her to bring no trouble to the relative. Amongst the things she left behind were an ethics book covering sticky notes, philosophy books, and a diary of dialogues with God. The ethics textbook was filled with notes written on sticky notes. I knew she was trying to find words that could save herself. That must have been her trace of studying for survival. The diary recorded the good things that happened every day and the things that was troubling her. She told the god that she was trying to find things she was able to do. In the end, she, the introvert who could not even talk with her own mother, chose to lie on the god created in her own heart. Everyone concluded her death simply to, is a matter of depression. But I myself don't want to use a single sentence to sum up someone who put up a desperate fight. Her death made me realize that humans' minds is complicated. When drawing this manga, I often take out her notebook covered with sticky notes to learn. Thanks to my auntie, I can draw this manga with all kinds of feelings. Thank you, auntie. And I'm sorry that I bring this out as material. 
Actually, I just want to say with pride, I have learned a lot from you. I must apologize that I keep talking about some personal stuff. I do arbitrarily. Sorry. I'd be really happy if you feel saved after reading about it. I will believe that you do and keep fighting on. Do you have any idea what it takes to climb up those railings? After reading that author's note, it marks the first time I end up in tears because of a manga, or a book, or anything similar. Maybe a movie that resonates with me makes me feel a certain way. Or a show hits a really sad turn, I could end up with a little water in my eyes. Sure, I may shed a few tears here and there, but even for the saddest of things to happen to me and that I experience in real life, tears are really rare for me. But this simple three-page author's note made a few tears run down my eye. If this doesn't persuade you to at least give We Should Not Begin Ethics a shot, then this manga just ain't it for you. But if it is, well, I guess I will see you in the next ethics class.